three rows. We're sailing. I do love having the engine on. I know we take a load of stick on YouTube for like, oh, you're always sailing with the engine on, but sometimes if you need to make landfall before dark or you need to charge the batteries or, you know, you just want to get there a little bit faster or the wind's in the wrong direction or the wrong strength or whatever. Anyway, so yeah, but now we've got one of those lovely days where um, we have the right wind. Good. I'm here. Feels so good actually, yeah. Uh, hang on. <laughs> got a bit of a hair issue. Got nice sailing breeze, really beautiful conditions, nice and sunny. Our friend E is sunning herself on the foredeck. Um, and yeah, Nick's down below, just, I don't know what he's doing. He reckons he's working, doing something that's a bit of a mystery to me. He's checking the hydro generator, he's just told me. Yes, because we need that thing working for our crossing to Bermuda and back to Europe, definitely. So. All right, so today we are at Manawar Key. Manawar Key. Manawar Key. Um, it's a cloudy, kind of blustery day. We keep on waiting for the rains to come. <laughs> Not to sound like some outback farmer, but when the bloody rains gonna come? <laughs> these, sheep are, these sheep are dying. <laughs> Well, we do. We keep on waiting for to get rained on, but we haven't gotten rained on yet. Although now that I've said that, nothing would it will probably happen. Sheep are on their last legs. Um, but yeah, we're in an anchorage now, which on the chart looked like it would be pretty well protected, but um, actually it's kind of choppy. We're getting this weird chop that we can't quite figure out because it's coming into a, in from a different direction to the wind. But there's not any swell today. We actually dingied past a cut earlier and there was like no swell whatsoever so I'm not sure why it's choppy. But the forecast is for the wind to swing around slightly and we're hoping that when it does that then the anchorage will become a bit calmer. Um, it's not too bad, it's just annoying more than anything. So yes, um, I've never been ashore here before. Nick has once but he's struggling to recall it. Fabry? I was wearing my blue jumper. What? So yes, we're going to check it out and uh, yeah, another town of the Abbey Coast to explore, which is nice. Very good supermarket, we're in a dry island. So what does that mean? So don't on this island. Or any alcohol. I've got a twitchy eye. <laughs> <laughs> does that mean that the, the restaurant doesn't sell beer? I don't know. Does yeah, not. they do, because I, I think I remember them saying on the net this morning that they sell beer and wine. And Look at my reflection. Why is there a gold cup with Chick-fil-A on it? Maybe there's a Chick-fil-A here. Oh my god, we would never leave. Can you imagine E? <laughs> my hopes just got really high and now they've just been crushed. <laughs> <laughs> we get angry calls from staff like, where's my duck master? I'm like, oh, she found a Chick-fil-A. In the Bahamas. That's it. Yep, yeah, game over. Minor Walk here is actually really lovely. Um, different feel and atmosphere to Hope Town. Um, seems more kind of residential and low key. Um, but it's really lovely, it's very quaint, beautiful, gorgeous beach. Yeah, if only the weather were cooperating. But I won't complain too much because um, I'm sure the sun will come out later today or tomorrow morning. 
up some random staircase that services the beach and I don't know where we are but I'm pretty sure it's not like a public road. Oh this is weird. Looks like an abandoned hotel. How random. This would have been absolutely beautiful. Hmm, it's quite sad. Yeah, what is this place? It's an abandoned hotel though. It's so weird. Huh? It's so weird. I don't know, it's beautiful as well. Well, it would have been. It's huge. And what happened here? It was a scene of a crime. <laughs> oh, look at this cat. Cabela, Cabela. Okay. That way going on. Actually, that's one. The beach. Where's the beach? There. Yeah. So you can hear it. Yeah. Down here, I think eventually we end up at a place called Queen's Highway. Probably not a highway in the sense of the six lanes of in traffic moving <laughs> either way. You probably get those coconuts, babe. I don't think they belong to anyone. Huh? So you probably get those coconuts back there. I don't think they belong to anyone. Huh? I don't know. You climb up the tree. Bring you a knife, buddy. Negative. <laughs> you bring a knife, old boy, Nick. Oddly enough, he does not have a knife on her. The one time. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to climb the tree, babe. All right. Well, off you go then. See this on the internet. Yep. <laughs> okay. Just remember you are from London, not like some island in the middle of the Pacific. Yeah. I got faith in you. <laughs> you can do it. If I stand on your shoulders. Okay. Why doesn't he stand on your shoulders? Yeah, that's it. You're lighter than I am. Get on my shoulders and grab the coconuts. Come on, E. Just get me a train rack. We both picked the tray. <laughs> I don't want to get your shirt all dirty. You want me to strip, don't you, bitch? <laughs> no, I don't. Just, <laughs> just right. watch your back, Nick. The lungs are going straight up. Oh, yeah. Can I help you? All right. All right, lift with your legs. Wow, that actually kind of worked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nick, I'm sorry. Okay. All right, all right, we're done. That's why I put my <laughs> hand on my head. Because <laughs> Muppet trip. Ah! <laughs> How many do you want? Three. No, no more. Yeah, no, no more. One more. No, I don't want any more. <laughs> no. Don't <laughs> drop it on my head. Well done. Are we done? No. Nah. All right, one more. No. I'm not gonna drop it on your head, I promise. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Well. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I reckon that went surprisingly well, considering all that could have gone wrong. And. Yeah. Oh. What on the two of you? Is there actually coconut water in there? Can you tell? Are they okay? I don't, I don't think they rattle and make coconut noises <laughs> unless they're uh, opened. Alright, well we've got a machete back on board, don't we? This is why I bought the machete. Alright, cool. Well done, everyone. Is your head okay? You alright, I put my hand over my head, I was able to give me a right crack. Yeah, well done. Alright, what are the chances of E dropping a coconut on my head? <laughs> Sorry. Fairly high, we're 10 out. <laughs> <laughs> So, 
true. The weather's improved considerably in the last hour since we've been gone. There's still this weird roll. I'm not sure what's from, but anyway, it's not so bad anymore. And the sun's coming out. And we're about to watch Nick attempt to break open a coconut and hope there's something inside that's worth eating and drinking. Should be interesting. All the beautiful coconut would have been wasted. You just have to open up another coconut. Well, you can open another coconut. Is that it? I don't know how much water, do I? Oh, I got jibbed. I got jibbed. Do you want me to open up another coconut? No, baby. That's prop, that's oh, that looks, that's a proper coconut right there. Yeah, so flashy one as well. Lovely. Good. 